Hi, this is George, and what I want to do in this video is show you some of the differences between peep diverters, peep valves, when you're applying them to a manual resuscitator. So what I have here with me are two manual resuscitators. On my left, your right, the Laridol manual resuscitator. And then on my right, your left, the Ambu manual resuscitators. These are fully set up, mind you, they don't have oxygen coming to them, but they have masks. So a couple other things that I have here, I also have a bunch of peep valves right over here, and a couple of peep diverters. So when you're switching over from bag valve mask to bag valve tube, you want to make sure that you don't have peep applied when you're mask ventilating, but you do want to have peep in most cases when you're bag valve tube ventilating with an artificial airway. So when we're talking about the diverters, this is a diverter, these things. They kind of look like round circles with little tops to them. I kind of refer to them sometimes when I'm talking about them as chimneys. And what these diverters do is they capture the exhaled gases that come from the patient when the patient exhales. And instead of that, uh, the gases going through the exhalation ports and into the environment, what they do is they direct the gases from the patient through this little chimney part right over here. And it's this part that you put the PEEP valve on. And PEEP stands for positive end expiratory pressure. So when you see these things, you kind of have to know what they're about, what's part of it, and if it's missing anything. For example, I've got two diverters here, one in my left hand, one in my right hand. And if you look at these diverters, they pretty much look exactly the same other than a slight difference in color. However, one diverter you can't use, and that is this one. And the reason you can't use this diverter is it's, it's missing a piece, a gasket, right here in the center that my finger is pointing to, that will allow exhaled gases not to be captured by the peep valve, because the exhaled gases just go through here path of least resistance. Whereas this one has that ring, that seal, in the center of it. So hopefully you can see that and the difference between those two on the video. Okay, So use this one because it's complete. Don't use this one. They both have the rings or the seals on the back. You can see them right, one right here, one right there. Those, that, that's okay, but this one in my right hand is missing that, that seal for the front. So this is the one that you'd use, and this is specifically used with a Laridol or Laridol styled bagger. Now, the peep valves themselves, a lot of variety to, let's move back out a bit here. The peep valves themselves, a lot of different varieties in terms of who makes them. These ends that hook onto the diverter or the captured exhale gas port on the bagger itself, they could be slightly different. So it's not all these things will work on all the different types of baggers or the diverters that are incorporated into the baggers of the manual resuscitators. So let's take a look at the Laridol first. With the Laridol, to put a peep valve on this, you need to use a diverter. So take the mask off, grab the diverter that works for you, and just simply zoom in again here. Take the diverter, slip it over top of the patient exhalation valve and then find the peep valve, place it on top and then use this to set your peep level. Okay, It's incorporated into the design. Now you can add whatever you need to over here to ventilate the patient. So tapered flex tube, uh, closed suction system and tidal CO2 monitoring device when you've got that all set up appropriately. And that's how you'd attach it with the Laridol. To take it off in case you have to do bag valve mass ventilation, just simply grab onto here and pull that off. Now, it is slightly different with the Ambu. With the Ambu, you take the mask off, and then you take this little diverter, and we just call it a diverter because it diverts exhaled gases away from you, away from other clinicians. All you'd have to do is take this off, and then find your peep valve, and the peep valve would sit inside the Ambu's uh, patient um, valve assembly right over there to divert gases now through the, the peep valve, and it just goes on like that. So, with that kept in mind, you have to remember again, not everything is going to fit. For example, this peep valve looks very similar to this peep valve. The difference is the connection ends, where you connect them to the baggers. This is fairly standard. This one can also be fairly standard, but the only thing is it won't fit, to the, won't fit into the Ambu patient valve assembly. So it's not going to work. So you've got to find something that will work. Luckily, all these other ones, they will fit onto the Ambu and subsequently work for you, okay? 
When you're done using that, take this diverter thing, put it back on the bagger when you're going to go back to bag valve mass ventilation. So that's essentially how you would hook up peep to the bagger, depending on what type of bagger you had, whether it was a style like the, the Laredal or the style like the Ambu. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. There's other things that you need to watch for when you're doing with these, dealing with these peep valves and baggers. Um, play with around with them, see how they work for you, and get some good experience with it before you do it on a patient. Till then, this is George. I hope you had a great day. And if you like this, thumbs up. Didn't like it, thumbs down. Construction, constructive criticism, how I can make it better. Till next time, George out. Have a great day. Take care.